Hercules, I'm actually about to go to bed. I couldn't find my phone for a while, which is why I didn't make one earlier. So, Daily Dose, la la la. Hi, funny story today. I fell in a gaijin trap. What's a gaijin trap, you ask? Well, okay, imagine the roads, like if you're in America, you have a road, and then there's a sidewalk, and imagine about a foot gap between the sidewalk and road, and that's a gaijin trap, basically. And we have them for, like, irrigation and stuff, rice fields, watering, I don't know. They're a real big problem. I've actually walking onto, I walked, <laughs> walking, I walk, Christopher Walken. Uh, that was not a Christopher Walken imitation there at all. That was like a Sean Connery one. Anyways, so I've actually fallen into one uh, while I was walking. There we go. Uh, but it was covered in snow, which is why I didn't see it. Uh, and I just went, whoop, whoop, and down I went. Today was the first time my, my car fell in. And the story goes, are you ready for the story, kids? Story time. So I was parking, and my school is very small and has a very small parking lot. So usually I end up having to park on the side of the gym. And it's all a line, basically. You can only have about one line of cars. And it goes all the way to the back of the gym. But I park right next to the gym, and I park there all the time. So I park my car. And I'm about to get out, and teacher comes up to me and goes, oh, you can't park here today because the truck, he said bus, but it's a truck for the kids for, a, it's basically a shipping company because you send your suitcases ahead of time because this week is school trip. And so the kids are sending a suitcase ahead to their hotel in Tokyo, and that's how that's working. And so they're going to use the side of the gym to, you know, put suitcases there. One, they did not. He used the front, so I didn't even have to move my car. But I did, because he was, like, really worried about this. So I moved my car. And in the process of moving my car, apparently I had parked so close to the guys in trap that when I tried to turn my wheel, uh, it was just enough to go boom, boom, and go down. And that was scary, because it just went boom. And I'm like, oh, that's what it's like to fall in a guys in trap. So I had to get some people, and we basically just lifted my car up. And then I had to go park in the back. And then I was really annoyed because during lunchtime, the same teacher was like, uh, you have to move your car now because I have to get out. I was like, well, why did you tell me to park in front of you if you knew you needed to leave today? In halfway through the day. And so I go out there to move my car and lo and behold, another teacher has parked their car in front of mine. So they go back into the school and I, ah, every class today as well. That did not help. And I didn't do any sewing today when I got home. I was just kind of here. Michelle came over for a bit, um, because I fixed some skirts for her, and we hung out a little bit, but we didn't really do much. We just talked about stuff. And how I'm going to write a supernatural um, musical. I've already started writing it. Dean has a song about pie. If you're a supernatural fan, I don't think anyone who watches my videos is one. Really? Um, no, there's like one or two of you, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm writing a supernatural musical. That's what I'm doing with my life now. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I have today. I need to go to bed because I have an early day tomorrow because I have to go to the other school, the new school. Ah, so I'm going to go now. Okay, question of the day is, what is the worst situation you've ever put your car in? Like, have you ever, like, rolled your car or something? What's the car situation? Car stories!